Recently, I've noticed there's a lot of confusion around the term selling calls. And I think this is primarily because there are two different types of calls that you can sell. There's a covered call and there's a naked call. And one of these can get you in a lot of trouble. So in this video, what we're going to do is deep dive into selling calls so that I can help you understand the difference between the two. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you which one is my favorite and my go-to strategy. So with that, let's dive in. Let's just dive in and let's talk about what a call is. When you sell a call, whether it's naked or covered, you're basically just saying that if the price of a stock goes above your strike price that you picked, that can be any price you pick, if it's above that price at the expiration date, you have to sell your 100 shares of stock to another party at that strike price, no matter what the price of the stock currently is. So if the stock's at $300 and your strike was 200, you have to sell your shares to someone else at $200. That's all a call is. Now, when we get into talking about a covered call versus a naked call, the covered call is bullish. The naked call is bearish. So let's talk about the differences. Let's start first with our old friend, the covered call. With the covered call, this just means that you own the shares. That's what covered means. Naked means you don't own the shares. Covered means you do own the shares. So let's create an example with Apple. Let's say you bought these shares down here at this line, which is about 120. Let's say $120 is where you bought the stock. And then you sell a covered call at 130. So let's do this. Let's put a line at 130 roughly. And let's say that you have agreed that you will sell your shares of Apple at $130 if by the expiration date, the price is above 130. You bought at 120, you're willing to sell at 130. So Apple's price pushes up and expires at 138. So we're above 130, so what does that mean? Drop me a comment below, let me know. It means you have to sell your shares at 130. So if you bought them at 120 and you have to sell them at 130, which is called being called away, you get your shares called away at 130, you made a $10 profit for $1,000 because it's $10 per share for 100 shares. And then 100 shares is one contract. So you got the shares called away, you don't own them anymore, but you keep the profit. And to do this, you may have gotten paid, let's say $3 premium. So you got paid $300 to put the contract on, to write the contract, and then an additional $10 per share when it got called away. That is the covered call. It's very simple, that's all it is. You just own the shares and you sell them at a certain price if expiration is above that price. Now, let's look at the nasty little cousin, the bearish strategy called the naked call. Now with the naked call, what that means is let's say you sell that same $130 strike in Apple, but you don't own the shares. Okay, you don't own them. And let's say Apple goes to $200. It expires, it's at $200, and you have the $130 naked call. Well, being that it's naked, that means you don't own the shares. So that means you have to buy the shares at the current market value of $200, and then you have to sell them to another party at $130, right here where you picked your strike. Meaning, you're gonna lose $70 per share times 100, which is $7,000. So you'll lose $7,000 because you didn't have the shares and you have to be able to go get them. Now, if you have a margin account, the advantage some people like is that when you sell naked calls, you don't need as much buying power as if you sell the covered call because the covered call, you actually buy the stock. Whereas when you sell the naked call, you only use partial buying power because you don't actually own the asset yet. So it's a similar strategy, but what's funny is that one's bullish and one's bearish based on whether or not you already own the shares. If you have to go out and buy the shares and then sell them lower, then clearly when you sold the naked call, you want the stock to go down in order to win. Now in both cases, both naked and covered, you get paid premium to put on the contract. So you might get paid $3, to sell the covered call and get paid $3 to sell the naked call. Same thing. It's just if you own the shares and the shares go higher and they get called away, you make profit with the covered call, whereas you're going to lose money with the naked call. Some people use the covered call to reduce cost basis. So let's say you've owned Apple for years and years and years and you decide, I'm gonna go ahead and start selling some covered calls. You could have one of two goals, to try to get it to expire worthless 
so that you can keep the shares and keep watching them go higher over time. Or if you get a big push up in price and it crosses your strike and expires and you lose those shares, you get to keep the profit on that. So your upside's limited on the covered call and your risk is also limited on the upside because you don't have to go out and buy the shares. Now the downside of the covered call, remember, there are gimmies and gotchas all over the place. The downside of the covered call is if you buy the shares, sell the call, and then the stock drops, yes, you will make money on the call, but the value of the stock is now lower. And say the value of the stock keeps dropping lower and keeps dropping lower, that could be a problem. So that's the downside for the covered call is you have to own the shares and the value of those shares could go down. But if you like the company and you don't mind fluctuations in price, then you can go ahead and buy those shares, feel confident about it, and then go ahead and just repeatedly sell covered calls, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Now, some people like to do that with naked calls, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And if they get challenged or breached and they are in jeopardy of losing money, then what they'll do is typically is they'll roll out and up in time. And if you don't know what rolling out and up is, check out this video right here. So with that, let's jump into the actual options chain. Now that we've kind of given an overview and we understand the difference between a covered call and a naked call, I want to show you how you can be a little more aggressive with the covered call. And this, because you stay tuned towards the end of the video, this is my favorite strategy, the covered call. So let me show you what we'll do. Let's go 40 days out on Apple. Let's actually go to a stock that has volatility. Let's go to Novavax. I've been trading this a lot. Let's go 40 days out and let's just look at this. If you sell the naked call, you don't want the price to go above your strike. So typically when you sell a naked call, these are the calls right here on this side, you would probably want to sell your call pretty far away. Maybe you want to sell it way out here at 280 because you don't want it to go above because if it does, then you're at risk for losing money. You'll get paid $2 or you'll get paid $4.10 and then you'll see what happens. But if you own the shares and you can sell a covered call, you don't really care if it breaches your strike. You're okay with it. So instead of selling something way out here because I don't really care what happens, I don't care if it breaches and goes much higher, I can get really aggressive and come up nice and tight. So I might come in here and sell the 190 covered call and get paid $21.70 per share or twenty or $2,170 for a one lot. You can be really aggressive because if it breaches me and goes to $500, I don't care. I'm gonna keep the premium and I'm gonna get paid the difference between 183 and 190 where my strike is. But remember, if it's a naked call and I get breached really bad, I'm responsible for that whole upside. I'll have to buy the shares up here and sell them down here because I don't already own them. So you can see how this can be really, really cool and really powerful because if you buy the 100 shares, you can be super aggressive on selling the calls and collecting a lot of premium. Now, some people don't like to be this aggressive because they say you're missing out on potential upside. You could sell the 220, still get paid some premium, and then if you get called away, you'll get the difference between 183 and now 220. So it's a bigger profit on where your shares get called away. So it's kind of a balance on what you're looking for. You can take a thousand less dollars and make more money if you get called away here, or you can make it a little richer, get real close and take less profit between where the stock is and where your strike is currently placed. So it's a balance between how much premium you want versus how much you want to sell the stock for. And that's basically the difference between the covered call and the naked call. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. I will get right back to you and I'll see you in the next video.